Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths tutorial. In this video, we learn the definition of convolution and properties of convolution and convolution theorem in Laplace transforms. Let us see the definition. Convolution. Suppose f of t and g of t are any two functions of class A. Functions of class A means it satisfies two properties. One is sectionally continuous and it is of exponential order A as t tends to infinity. Then the fun then the convolution of f of t and g of t is denoted by f star g and defined by an integral f star g is equals to integral 0 to t f of x g of t minus x dx observe that f of t and g of t are functions of class a functions of class a means it satisfies two properties first of all it is sectionally continuous first of all it is sectionally continuous and the second property it is of exponential order it is of exponential order as t tends to infinity. The convolution of f of t and g of t is simply denoted by the symbol f star g and defined by the integral f star g is equals to integral 0 to t f of x g of t minus x dx. The relation f star g is also called resultant or faulting of f and g. Convolution is also known as resultant or faulting. Let us see the properties f star g is commutative. Convolution is commutative. That is, f star g is equals to g star f. That is, in another words, integral 0 to t f of x g of t minus x dx is equals to integral 0 to t g of x f of t minus x dx. f star g is equals to g star f. Here you observe the integrands. Uh, integral limits are same from integral 0 to t. Integration with respect to x. But here the integrands observe that f of x g of t minus x g of x f of t minus x and also f star g convolution is associative f star g convolution is associative f star g of star h is equals to f star of g star h also convolution is distributive with respect to addition that is f star of g plus h is equals to f star g plus f star h these three are the properties of convolution now let us see the convolution theorem, which is very, very important theorem for 10 mark section. The statement of convolution theorem is f of t and g of t are any two functions of class A and L inverse of f of p is equals to f of t. L inverse of g of p is equals to g of t. Then L inverse of f of p into g of p is equals to integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du. That is f star g. Let us prove this statement. By given data, f of t and g of t are functions of class A. And Laplace transform of f of t is equals to f of p. Laplace transform of g of t is equals to g of p. In another words, what is f of t? By shifting Laplace operator to right side. By shifting Laplace operator to right side, we get L inverse of f of t. Here also, by shifting Laplace operator to right side, g of t is equals to L inverse of g of p. Our aim is to show that. Our aim is to show that L inverse of f of p into g of p is equals to integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du. To prove this, let us define h of t like this. Define h of t like this. h of t is equals to integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du. Now calculate Laplace transform of h of t. Find Laplace transform of h of t. By definition of Laplace transform, integral 0 to infinity e power minus pt h of t dt. Already we define h of t as an integral. So we substitute that. h of t is equals to integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du dt. Now it is nothing but double integral. One is integral 0 to infinity. The second one is integral 0 to t e power minus pt f of u g of t minus u du dt. Now to change the order of the limits, to change the order of the limits, you observe that the limits are the given, these are the limits. Limit t varies from 0 to infinity. Limit t varies from 0 to infinity. And limit u varies from 0 to t. u varies from 0 to t. t varies from 0 to infinity. You can observe that here, here, the range of integration is triangle OAB. 
from this diagram from this diagram the range of the the range of the integration is triangle oab here this line represents u is equal to t this line represents u is equal to t here you observe that clearly u is equal to t so that's why we draw a line u is equal to t and we draw a line which is parallel to y axis that represents t is equal to infinity and that intersecting point is capital b of alpha comma alpha now draw an elementary strip parallel to t axis this is t axis draw a strip parallel to elementary axis one end of the strip lies on u is equals to t other end lies on t is equals to infinity remember that let us draw a strip this line this line one end one of the end of that strip lies on u is equals to t the other end lies on t is equals to infinity for for this strip you observe that u varies from 0 to infinity for this strip one value is 0 and the second value is infinity one strip because it lies on t is equals to u to t is equals to infinity so u varies from 0 to infinity now finally we get this limits l of h of t is equals to double integral 0 to infinity both limits both limits 0 to infinity e power minus pt f of u g of t minus u d without the diagram also you can observe that t is equals to 0 and u is equals to t u is equals to t u is equals to t lower limit of t is 0 so u is equals to 0 upper limit of t is infinity so u is equals to infinity. without diagram also you can represent that u varies from 0 to infinity because u is equals to t because u is equals to t that's it so l of h of t is equals to double integral 0 to infinity e power minus pt f of u g of t minus u du dt put t is equals to u plus y put t is equals to u plus y where u is parameter then dt is equals to dy by using this substitution in the above integral we get integral 0 to infinity f of u du integral 0 to infinity e power minus pt g of t minus u dt now substitute t is equals to u plus y wherever wherever t is there then that is replaced by u plus y so integral 0 to infinity f of u du integral 0 to infinity e power minus p into u plus y g of y dy just rearrange the terms just rearrange the terms e power a plus b can be written as e power a into e power b by using that e power minus of p plus p into u plus y is equals to e power minus p u e power minus p y separate the variables according to the integration here it is du so shift this e power minus p u to here so integral 0 to infinity e f of u e power minus p u du integral 0 to infinity e power minus p y g of y du here just we arrange these integrals according to their integral variables here integration done with respect to u here integration done with respect to y so separate the terms according to the u terms according to the v terms integral 0 to infinity f of u e power minus p u du integral 0 to infinity e power minus p y g of y dy so we get l of f of u l of f of u into l of g of y this is nothing but f of p laplace transform of capital f f of p laplace transform of g of y g of p therefore we prove that l of h of t is equals to f of p into g of p now shift this l laplace operator to right side h of t is equals to l inverse of f of p into g of p what is h of t what is h of t h of t is nothing but integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity f of u g of t minus u du which is equals to l inverse of f of p into g of p this completes the proof of the convolution theorem which is very very important theorem for your end semester 2022